Hey guys, so for this piece, we are going to be making what's called a diptych. Now a diptych is a two-part piece. So it's where two halves of a work make one whole. One thing that's really nice about a diptych is that you are able to create some kind of comparison between the two sides. Um, and I think that there's a lot of opportunity here for exploring interesting connections between the two subjects that you have in one side and the other of your diptych. So for our piece, we're going to be using oil pastels. And my thought is that you can work on one half of your diptych at home, and you can work on the other half at school. And then we can bring them together into one amazing whole piece. Now, I want you to be focusing on landscapes in this assignment. However, how you choose to interpret landscapes is really up to you. It could be an exterior space, it could be an interior space, it could be a natural space, it could be an urban space. Um, and I'm going to show you some photos that I have gathered um, from the summer. Uh, I don't really want you guys to focus too much on human figures for this project. Uh, it's not intended to be a portrait, but if you have some smaller human figures in your piece, uh, they can add a nice little element to it. So here's an example. Um, I really like the way the, the small river here looks and the rocks. There's a really nice sense of depth in this piece. That's something I really want you guys to shoot for, is having a nice sense of a foreground, middle ground, and background in your piece. It helps lead the eye through the work. What we're going to be doing is focusing on a fauve color palette, which means it's a non-realistic color palette. And so you're going to be transforming every color that you see in your piece into something different and something new. Uh, so don't worry too much about what the colors of your piece look like. Really be thinking about the composition of your photo, more importantly than the colors. Uh, the composition, especially the uh, sense of depth. So I could do something like this, contrasted with what I just showed you, to give a sense of something more urban with something more sort of natural looking. I was also thinking it might be nice to pair together this shot, which I really love all these water lilies in the foreground. I was thinking of pairing that with maybe this and having the water lilies sort of grow over this canopy. Um, I also thought this water lilies piece might pair nicely with this piece and having this little um, beautiful piece of architecture on one side. So here is what I was kind of thinking. Um, I'm using Procreate right now, which is not my usual workflow, but I uh, wanted to just kind of give you guys a sense of what I was thinking here. Um, so over here, I could create like these water lilies. Obviously, I'm just doing a quick thumbnail here to give a sense of the composition. Whereas over here, oops, I want to select this guy. Oh. Whereas over here, I can draw this, uh, I can kind of change where my horizon line is, and I can draw this Hanel over here. And a tree, blah, 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 blah. Let's just turn these off. So you kind of get the idea of combining two together. Now it's not necessarily important that your compositions 
lead into each other. Um, that is not a requirement, but it can be kind of cool. So something else I was thinking I could try could be having the water lilies over here. And then, like I said, inserting this idea over here and having these water lilies kind of grow into this shape here. So the water lilies could kind of become this canopy and that creates sort of a surreal element to it. So uh, how you choose to put a diptych together is totally up to you. I want you to be going through your own photos that you have taken and if you don't have any photos of landscapes Part of your job over the weekend is to get outside and take some photos of the world around you. Uh, it could be, like I said, an urban place or a more natural place and really focus on a sense of depth in your work and think about how you can combine two different images together. You could even have the same scene but one be night and one be day. Um, like I said, really think about depth really think about um, a focus on landscape, not human figures. But like I said, you can have little humans if you want. I hope this makes some sense and I really look forward to the awesome ideas you guys come up with.